This is Airy and Solids preview video 8.2 part 2 area of regular and irregular shapes. Take a deep breath. Ready? Inhale. Hold your breath. And birthday candle. Don't forget date, time, and signature here. We're going to recap these equations. Now, can you always look these equations up in your reference book? But yes, absolutely. However, learning to memorize these equations really helps your brain be more efficient. Efficient. So we're going to quickly go through this. Area of a rectangle. Tangle length times width. And a parallel ogram base times height. A triangle, one half base height, a trap is half height, sum of bases. This version of the equation, one half height, sum of the bases, is the exact same thing as average the bases over two times the height. These are interchangeable. Then last lesson was a regular polygon. All equal sides is one half perimeter, which means you walk it around. Perimeter times apothem. Center, midpoint, right angle. That's your apothem, one half paw. So these are the equations we have so far. And you're like, why are there syllables here? There are syllables because this is a song, folks. This goes to the tune of ants go marching one by one. So it goes like this. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. The little one stops to suck its thumb and they all go marching out of the door, around the corner, down the drain, stuff like that, boom, boom, boom. However you learned it in your summer camp, everyone has a slightly different ending. So right here, ready? Yes, you're singing. You're gonna try to sing this with your family. The area of a rectangle length width, length width, and a parallelogram base height, base height. A triangle, one half base height, a trap is half height, sum of bases in the L of a regular polygon is one half perimeter at the thumb. Boom, boom, boom. Try singing that on your own, folks. See if you can't bring that to the dinner table. Dinner table, just for giggles. So we are gonna be learning about what are called irregular or composite shapes. So normal shapes are what you would consider the shapes you learned when you were a kid. You got triangles, circles, trapezoids, things like that. Regular shapes would be specifically shapes that have all equal sides and all equal angles. Composite shapes are combinations of normal and regular shapes. 
So a composite shape, also known as irregular, for example, here we have a semicircle combined with a triangle. Or here, we would look at this as two different rectangles. That's a composite shape. And there's two ways that you need to look at composite shapes, two ways you could. It's called positive where you add stuff and then negative where you subtract stuff, positive and negative space, positive and negative space. We're gonna do the same problem using both methods. Find the area of the shape below using what's called positive. Positive means we're adding stuff together. That's how that works. So we're going ahead and we're going to split this up into rectangles. There's a couple ways to do that. So just always physically trace the sides of everything. Physically trace the sides of everything. Taking a look here, this is length times width, of course. That's going to be 15 feet squared. So we have 15 feet squared. And we take a look here. This is two. And you go like that. What is that? Well, if you trace all the way, trace. That's three. Trace, folks. Trace. Trace. That's three. That's six. So right there must be three. Two times three. That means this is six feet squared. So 15 plus six, that's going to be 21 feet squared. That's what we call positive, where you add things together. You need to be comfortable also what's called negative space. So we're going to find the exact same equation by doing this. We're going to see this as a larger rectangle. And we're going to take out what would be this negative space. So in this case, it's going to be something minus something. That's why we call it negative. So let's look. This whole thing, of course, is going to be that whole length times that whole length. We always physically trace everything. That's five times six, of course, that's gonna be 30 feet squared. Come down here, we trace from here to here, trace. And then you go the whole thing, the longer, that's six. What's this? That's three down there. So you get three there. If we go this way, down, long side, that's five. This little guy, two, so that means this is three, which would make this nine feet squared. And of course you get 21 feet squared. Ta -da, you're done. So I want you to go ahead and use either positive or negative space to find the area of this shape. Do your own work. Then restart the video to check your work. Pause the video. Students, if you're just copying right now, instead of actually checking your work, you should have work and you should have an answer. So let's check your work. Let's split this up here in a, what we can. I'm going to go this way. And that is a right triangle. I'm going to go like this right to this edge. Believe it or not, of course, that's a rectangle. And this, maybe you'll recognize it now, that, my friends, is a trapezoid. Definition of a trapezoid is two sets of parallel lines and then a set of non-parallel lines. So that yellow is a trapezoid. So this right here is going to be leg 
times leg over two. This, of course, is length times width. And this trapezoid is going to be average of the bases over two times the height. So we come over here. This is six. This right here is 15 minus six, so it's nine. So six times nine over two, that's 27. So 27 units squared. This is going to be six times 15. Ninety units squared. This one base is going to be fifteen. The other base is going to be nine over two times our height, which is right there, is three. Fifteen plus nine. That's twenty-four over two times three. That's twelve times three, which is thirty-six. So you simply add 27, 90, 36. It's 11, 14, 15, 153 feet squared.